Good morning, good morning, my lovely students. How are you doing? I missed you a lot. Tell me about your weekend. What did you do? So, everyone, I'm so excited today to start the lesson, and I have good news for you too. But I am happy because today is the first day of the week it's sunday so it's sunday it's sunday it's again. again it's the first day of the week well done so it's the first day of the week i want you to be happy and ready to learn so here we go i want to say congratulations to jude and also to Mubarak for getting more than 100 points on Class Dojo. Keep up the good work and I want to say thank you to all of you. Your work is amazing and I feel super happy to see your work every time. So everyone, keep up the good work as I said and make sure that you're working so hard to get this lovely certificate. So everyone, now let's move to our lesson, but before we start, as usual, I need someone to read the day and date. I said today is Sunday, so now it's your turn to say the date. So I need someone to help. Who can help me today and read the date? Go ahead. April 19, 2020. April 19, 2020. Well done. So, it's reading time. And as you can see, the cover page of the story. So, everyone, what can you tell me about the cover page of the story? You will tell me what we are going to study today. So here we go, think about what we are going to study today. Oh, I remember this lesson. We studied this last week, it's about Josie and Ling. So everyone, today we are going to continue the story that we have started last week. So who can read the title, everyone? Starry Night. Well done. So, are you ready to complete the story? Yes. So, let's get started. So, everyone, our objectives for today, let me say, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify key ideas and details in a story, and also you can read on level text with a purpose and understanding. So everyone, before moving to the story, let's revise the eight vocabulary words. So are you ready? Let's go ahead, listen carefully and pay attention. Adventure. If someone likes adventure, they like doing exciting and unusual things. Dreamed. If you dreamed about something you want to happen, you imagined it happening. Delighted. If you feel delighted, you feel very pleased about something. Enjoyed. If you enjoyed doing something, you liked doing it. Grumbled. If something grumbled, it made a low rumbling sound. Moonlight. Moonlight is the moon's glow that you often see at night. Name. 
neighbor. A neighbor is a person who lives near you. Nighttime. Nighttime is the dark part of a day. I like to. So here we go. And now let's move to our story. So everyone, I have two questions for you. And we are gonna use our background knowledge and recall the things that we have learned in science about day time sky and night time sky this will make your job much easier so let's go to the first question what can you see in the daytime sky close your eyes and try to remember I can see the sun and I can see birds and I can also see clouds so everyone you can either draw or write so it's up to you so I'll try to draw one thing and then you will continue doing this okay so this is Sun okay everyone and also cloud so this is the you can help me to spell the word what comes after O? you well done I'm trying it's hard to control this pen so cloud so, and what can you see in the night time sky? Just close your eyes and try to remember or recall the information you have and you've learned in the science subject before. So, what can you see in the night time sky? I can see stars and I can see the moon. Stars and also okay wow so let's write stars so what is the spelling s, s e a r well done and what is the spelling of moon m o o n double o n well done everyone i want you to do this also use your notebook so everyone, also, let's talk about the genre of the story. The genre is fiction. Fiction means the story has made up characters and events, has dialogue. Dialogue means when characters in the story talk to each other. So here we go. Let's please listen carefully to the story and Try to remember the details we have studied last week and also the events of the story. So listen carefully. Genre. Fiction. Starry Night. Josie and Ling were good friends. Ling was happy Josie was her neighbor. Josie was happy Ling lived nearby, too. Josie and Ling couldn't wait for the school day to end. They planned a sleepover at Josie's house. They were going to sleep in a tent in Josie's backyard. As the class was leaving, Mr. Cortez said, Your weekend homework is to look at the nighttime sky and explain what you saw on Monday. The class grumbled. Why the unhappy sounds? Mr. Cortez asked. It will be fun looking at the sky at night. So everyone, as you can remember, that Mr. Cortez asked uh, the students to explore or let me say, watch the sky during night time and explain what can they see.
The girls arrived at Josie's house and were delighted to be sleeping outdoors. Josie said, I'm so happy that we get to sleep in the tent. It will be lots of fun. Then Ling said, I'll get the sleeping bags and flashlights. I brought flashlights so we can play games in the tent. Josie's dad poked his head inside the tent. Girls, it is a good time to do your homework now because it is getting dark, he said. Aw, they both complained. Dad, said Josie, do we have to now? Yes, I already set up the telescope. So, and also, Josie and Ling, they were upset and they don't want to do their homework. They want to enjoy their time and play. But as we can see, their dad set up the telescope and he's calling them to watch the sky. Ling said, I hope this won't take too long. Josie looked up and spotted a crescent moon. Did you know the moon's light comes from the sun? said Josie. It's funny that it's called moonlight. Yes, said Ling, who was still thinking about playing in the tent. Josie's dad smiled at the girls and said, See the stars in the sky? Those points of bright light can form shapes. You can see the Big Dipper, he said. It's a group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky. And as we can see, everyone, Ling and Josie are enjoying their time watching the sky and they can see more and more things in the sky. One of the things that they saw in the sky was the Big Dipper. It's a group of stars. It's a group of stars. And remember, when they use the telescope, they can see the small things more bigger. Josie's dad showed her how to look through the telescope. Wow, that's more stars than I ever dreamed of. I never imagined there could be so many. It was Ling's turn to look. Ling cried out, I see a bright light moving in the sky. That's a shooting star, said Josie's dad. This is fun, said Ling. I really enjoy looking at the stars. I think we've seen enough of the nighttime sky, said Josie's dad. You girls can go play now. Aw, Dad, can't we keep looking? asked Josie. This is really fun. Yes, said Ling. We have had an adventure already, and we haven't even played in the tent yet. You're right, Ling, said Josie. This has been one exciting night. So, everyone, as you can see, the two girls are very happy using the telescope and watching the stars. But there is something special they saw. What is it? A shooting star. A shooting star, as you can see here. So, they are very happy. As you can see, at the beginning they were upset and they don't want to do their homework. But now, as you can see, they are happy and enjoying their time watching the sky during night time. So everyone, as you can see here, there are some questions. So please, I want you to remember the details of the story and let's answer these questions together. So question number one, what did Josie spot in the sky? A crescent moon. Well done. What did Josie's dad see in the sky? The Big Dipper. Wonderful. What is the Big Dipper? It's a group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky. Excellent. So can you draw a Big Dipper? Yes. As you can see, this is the? Big Dipper. It's a group of stars. So let's go to this page. Okay. So, describe what can you see in the picture. I can see Josie and Ling doing their homework. Their homework is looking at the nighttime sky. So, that's what they're doing. So, they are, ve they are super happy, I can say. Look at their faces and they're watching the sky and exploring new things. So, what did Josie's dad show to the girls? 
Joseph that shows them how to look through the telescope. Well done. How to use the telescope. What did Lang see in the sky? A bright light moving in the sky. Excellent. What did they use to watch the stars? A telescope. They used a telescope. So everyone, let's look at the picture and answer the questions. What did Josie's father ask the girls to do after they finished their homework? To go and play. To go and play. What does adventure mean? Something unusual. Why cannot the girls sleep? Because they were enjoying their time looking at the nighttime sky. Because they were enjoying their time and they want to explore more and more. What do you prefer? A nighttime sky or a daytime sky? And time. so everyone think about it. What do you prefer? Nighttime sky. Nighttime sky. And why? Because like um, if I look at the daytime sky, my, my eyes will hurt me because of the sun. But at nighttime, it's much better. My eyes don't hurt me. And I like looking at the stars. So everyone, here we go. Um, there is task number one and task number two. You can choose one of them or if you want, you can complete two of them. So everyone, here we go, task number one, write the sequence of the story. So what happened first, everyone? Mr. Cortez asked them to do their homework. Next, the two girls went to a sleepover. Then, they did their homework. Last, they were happy to explore the nighttime sky. Well done. Now let's move to task number two, everyone. Listen carefully. Here, what we're going to do is to choose the correct answer. So what did the girls plan to do during their sleepover? Play in the tent, tell scary stories, draw pictures, eat popcorn and marshmallows. I'm going to give you some time to think. So what is your answer? Play in the tent. Well done. This is the correct answer. So, who's not a character in the story? Miss Cortez, Lang, Josie, or Mom? So, where's the correct answer? Mom. Well done. Question number three. What did the girls use to observe nighttime sky? Glasses, telescope, microscope, or Aryan's belt? Telescope. Telescope. Well done. So, let me go to the closure. So, Visit the website below and enjoy answering the questions about Starry Night. Videotape yourself and show me how brilliant you are. Please don't forget to upload a picture of your work in Class Dojo. Thank you and have a nice day.